The real estate and construction industry over the last couple of years has undergone some of the most difficult economic challenges uh, that this city has ever been faced with. The developers we're honoring tonight showed their confidence and their faith in New York City, their willingness to take risks at a time when it was difficult to take risks. They showed their confidence in hiring BTA contractors because of their expertise and the confidence that they had in using the building trade unions employed by BTA contractors to move forward on their projects. The partnership between Cornell, Technion, and New York City brings together the best of the best. Uh, it brings together an institution from New York that is so well known with a world-class international institution, Technion, to develop the foundation for a tremendous expansion uh, both in education and research here in New York City. The fact that this project is looking at developing new cutting-edge technology similar to what was done in Silicon Valley uh, in the Southwest is going to be huge. People will now want to come to New York to say it is a technology hub. This is just one example of the incredible leadership that Mayor Mike Bloomberg has in New York. His passion is to think big. We're expecting that just in the construction of the campus itself, that about 20,000 jobs will be created. The partnership that we have with the construction trades as well as with the development firms and the construction firms is something that goes back many, many decades in New York City and that partnership is what's enabled us to thrive as a city. This project will have a substantial increase in the amount of people working, something that the union construction industry vastly needs. I think the impact that the Cornell project will have on New York City as the moment is being calculated. It's going to create opportunities well beyond just the building of the campus. It's going to attract lots of other institutions to New York once they see how successful this is to create a critical mass that hasn't been seen anywhere else in the country. Wilson Properties is a world-class developer. They are committed to the city of New York. And prior to the downturn of the market, they had a project under construction and it, it was mothballed. And I'm proud to say that they were one of the few developers to restart a major project, an office tower at that. And it's because they have commitment in this market of New York. A new office building on the west side is just terrific because if you really look at what's happening in New York, development is moving west and south. Being able to offer potential tenants the opportunity to live and work in a community like the west side of Manhattan is just, it's, it's wonderful. And Robert's just, uh, he's just a great leader. This is an individual who's not just a great developer in New York, he's a great New Yorker. And, and as a result, everything he does permeates through his chosen profession of building great buildings in New York. So the vision of, of Boston Properties, it's with Robert Chelsea, is uh, critical to really the growth of New York. The Heinz organization, they really have proven that um, somebody with a vision can make something new and different happen. Their projects are always of a certain stature. They don't want to just build a building. They want to build a building that's going to be recognized and admired by all. They're visionary, and they do it right, and they make sure that their projects are done so that everybody is properly taken care of and they're treated fairly. And the honesty and the integrity of Tommy Craig is no different than the honesty and integrity of the Heinz organization. Tommy puts all of his energy behind those projects, and there's no doubt there's a reason why they're successful. And my experience with the Heinz organization, and Tommy in particular, was that they're a real team builder. They're a real leader, and their leadership shows through. And that's why they are a world-class, well-known developer, not only here in New York, but throughout the states and throughout the world. During my 15 years, I have certainly been very lucky and having some of the smartest people in this industry lead the organization. But last year, as, as everyone knows, was a very, very difficult year in our industry. And the characteristics that Ken Darrow displayed really kept us together as an organization. He comes from a legacy family business that's been around for many, many years. So there's no surprise that when you have a few moments to spend with Ken Durr that you can see that this is not only a person who's skilled 
and understands what his business is all about, but he's, he's an industry leader. Ken has a tenacious attitude to make things happen. He has pushed for change and change in a good way. He has a good sight into the future and what's happening. And he pushes and gathers everybody to, to try to make that change. And everyone knows change is tough. I don't believe that, that in my tenure, I've had a chairman faced with the kind of significant challenges that we faced last year. But Ken was steadfast in his leadership, uh, progressive in his thinking, strong in his philosophies. He's an extraordinary leader and he deserves the award that he's getting tonight.